Welcome. Today's session for our yoga time together is going to focus on boosting our immunity system as well as getting some flexibility back into our back. When we work with our back, that increases not only our range of motion, but our overall health. So let's begin. You do need a yoga mat today, and we're gonna start down on our mat. So let's come to a seated position. Now, if you can see, sit cross-legged, that's great. If you can, feel free to put your legs out in front of you. Remember, no pain, just comfort. Hands on your knees, and let's close our eyes and gently become present. Take a deep cleansing breath in. And think about the fact that you are here today to give yourself the gift of time, the gift of movement, the gift of increased immunity. And as you uh, pause for a second there, just let yourself feel centered, grounded, peaceful. And let's take a deep cleansing breath in, bringing our hands up overhead and exhale down again bringing our hands up overhead as we breathe in and exhale down. One last time, breathe in, bring your hands all the way up, fingertips touch, becoming aware of each hand, one hand touching the other, and slowly bring your hands down to your chest. Place your thumb against your chest, even if it's through the cloth of your shirt. That makes a connection there of the thumb to the sternum. And the sternum is where uh, our seat of center is relative to boosting our immunity system. And let's bring the right hand up, left hand down, place it on the floor, and push against the floor and push up with the right hand as high as you can. Keep your gaze to the front. Look at me. Now slowly bring your gaze up and look at that raised hand. Starting to open up across the neck and the throat. Bring your gaze back to neutral, looking at me. Hands back to your chest. And let's bring the left hand up, the right hand all the way down, place it against the floor, push against the floor and push up with your left hand. Slowly bring your gaze up to your raised hand, letting the neck stretch up in this position. Bring your gaze back to the cam, back to the front and bring that hand back down, both hands on your knees, pause. Notice a gentle release in your arms, notice a gentle release in your upper body. And let's take another deep cleansing breath in, hands come up, and as our hands go down, the left hand goes down, but the right hand stays up. And stretch, push against the ground, against your mat, and really push getting some stretch in the side body. Come back to neutral, hands to your chest. Placing the right hand down against the floor, the left hand comes out. Very good. And push against the floor. Imagine you're pushing hard against the floor while you're raising the opposite hand all the way up. And bring both hands back to your chest. Breathe. Roll your shoulders. And reverse the direction of your shoulder roll. Place your right hand on your chest, your left hand on top of your right hand, and pause for just a moment. <clears throat> Give yourself permission that your immunity system will be awakened and that your immunity system will be boosted, come alive, enriched, nourished, renewed. Very good. Now let's place our left hand on our left knee and bring the right hand up as we bend over slightly to the opposite side, push some pressure into that thigh with your elbow. Placing some pressure onto the thigh, now notice that you can tone the front of the right side of your body. And push harder with that stretch. Bring your right hand down to your right knee. Elbow goes onto the thigh as the left hand comes up. Gentle pressure with your, with your elbow against that thigh and really push into the stretch. One more time, left hand comes down on the knee, elbow goes into the thigh, bring the right hand up. Now we're stretching across the front of the right side of the body. This is giving a detoxing release to the area of the liver 
end of the gallbladder. And therefore, the deeper you stretch, the more you're giving those organs a little gentle boost of detoxification. Bring the right hand down to the knee, place that elbow against the thigh, and let's come all the way up with the left hand, press some pressure into the thigh, and we're stretching the left side of the body, which is the general area of the pancreas and the spleen, giving a boost and a detoxification to the spleen and to the pancreas. And bring that hand all the way down. Now let's come to the, to the side. I'm gonna pin my hair up so that it doesn't fall into my eyes. And let's come onto all fours. Nice flat back. Are your shoulders directly over your wrists. If this is hard on your wrists, feel free to pick the forefinger and the thumb up. That provides some relief immediately to the wrist area. Or you can come up onto your fists if that's better. Or you can come all the way down onto your forearms, whichever works best for you. I'm going to come back to the upright position with my forefinger and my thumb raised just to keep the pressure out of my out of my wrist. And we're going to take a nice deep cleansing breath in and as we exhale push our spine to the ceiling in a cat position. This is the first cat of the day so take a moment and roll forward and back. Getting a little bit of stretch into the back area. Come to stillness. Now inhale and press your belly button toward the mat while keeping the abdomen muscles toned. This can be done in a chair, it can be done standing, but this is the most typical position for cat and cow. Since this is your first cow for the day, gently move your hips left to right. It increases the stretch in the low back and provides some balance. Come to stillness, nice flat back. Exhale into cat. Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat, and inhale into cow. Come to stillness. We're gonna pause and let Jeremy edit this because we have a visitor outside. Come on in, girl. Come yeah. here, come here with me. Come here, buddy. Come on. Of course not, she wants to be on the mat. If you're going to be up here, sit down. <clears throat> Come here. Come here. We're back in our flat back position and gently put Start your that again. I think the tail was still in your picture. <laughs> We're in a flat back position. Our hands are, are positioned comfortably, four fingers raised in my case. Let's bring our toes together. Our big toes are together and drop the, he the hips back toward the heels. We're going into an extended child. Push your arms forward and bring the forehead all the way down to the mat if possible. If that's uncomfortable, feel free to put your hands under your forehead. Take a deep cleansing breath in. Breathe into the kidney area and exhale out. One more breath in. Bring your hands back out if they were folded and slowly come all the way back up. Pushing forward and rolling all the way back, back into an extended child position. This time leave your forearms down and extend the body out to where you're in a nice sphinx position. That's where the a shoulder is over the elbow, hands are flat on the floor. And a gentle stretch, bend both knees, cross the ankles, moving the legs in a gentle swaying movement. This gives some relief to the back of the hamstring area and activates the muscles of the low back as well as the stretch in the front. Come to stillness, hands down. Let's push all the way up into a, um, a half, a half uh, flat back again. Very good. 
Now, leaving your forearm on the floor on the right hand, raise your right leg up and raise the left arm out. And let's slowly make little circles with both limbs, moving from the shoulder and the hip. And reverse the direction of your shoulder rolls. Come to stillness, bend the right knee, extend the left arm out to the side. And slowly, let's pick up the right leg as if you're going to strike toward the ceiling. One, two, three, four. Bring the left hand down, right knee down, push back into extended chop. Come all the way up. You're back on your forearms again. This time we're gonna leave our left hand down and we're gonna raise our left leg. And let's bring the right arm straight up, make little circles with both limbs, moving from the hip and the shoulder. And reverse the direction of those circles. Bend the left knee, move the right arm out to perpendicular to the body, and let's strike up toward the ceiling. One, two, three, four. Bring the right hand down, left hand down, push all the way back into extended chop. And slowly work your way back up, turning back to the front, crossing your legs. Pause for a moment with your hands on your knees. And let's take three deep cleansing breaths in together. Breathing in, breathing in the goodness of the day, bringing that down into your body. Breathing in the goodness of the time we spent together, bringing that into your body. And again, breathing in just the time that you've dedicated to yourself. Namaste. I look forward to seeing you again soon.